All right, y'all, all morning I have been preparing. So as you can see in the back of the truck, we have not one, but we have three brand spanking new crab traps. Look at this, we got the fancy wired one here. So I rigged this all together, we bought rope, we bought the buoy, which dude, the buoy, there was no price when I bought it, but tell me how the buoy is more expensive than the freaking trap. I think this was 10 bucks. This was like $14 for a freaking crab buoy. Basically, we were going to be trying to kayak crab. Now I grew up crabbing in Delaware, but I've never crabbed mobily. Hopefully this will get us to some better spots. I don't know, usually I've done it off a of pier and usually there's a bunch of other people doing it too. I was kayaking here the other day and I literally saw somebody else's buoys and I was like, dude, maybe I should, maybe I should give this a try. So yeah, man, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get out there, launch the kayak and uh, put these bad boys to the test and put our survival crabbing skills to the test. I'm hoping that we could do like nice, thick catch and cook later. I haven't had blue crabs in so long. Let's get this rigged up. I'll show you what we got for bait and uh, see if this will even work. So again, we got one, two, three. We went to Walmart. I was looking for chicken necks. That's usually what we used to use back in Delaware, either that or bunker. But we got some, boom, chicken drumsticks. $3.50, not too bad of a price. All we are going to do is get this string right here, cut off a little piece, open chicken. Sometimes these uh, crab traps have little things that you could secure your bait on with, but sometimes they don't. So in those cases, you either use something like a zip tie or in this case, I'm just gonna tie this down with a string real quick. Boom, this is essentially the crab trap. If you guys are not familiar, you kind of drop this down, right? That lays on the bottom. Crab, crab walks into there, does a little crab rave as it's eating, simple enough, right? We're trying to create the ultimate crab rave. We're all gonna be And then yeah, we just drop this down there. Hopefully, you see, this is the one thing I don't know. I don't, it, this tide is coming in, right? Should hopefully be a good time to crab. But is this enough to sit on the bottom? I'm not exactly sure. So we have some weights that we can tie on as well. We're just gonna similarly tie it on as we did the chicken. And um, yeah, hopefully our traps don't get swept down the freaking ocean. That trap is literally ready to go. Sick. I think I already said this too, but this is my, my first time ever crabbing in Florida. It'll be interesting to see how uh, crabs taste. And we're going after blue crabs. I don't know if I mentioned that either. I'm pretty sure I did. I've heard people say that they taste different. Hopefully we can catch some keepers or at least a keeper. We should be ready to go. I don't know why that looks. Is that rain? Hmm, all right, we'll give it a sec. There's like a, can you see that? It's, it's super like misty that way. I can't tell if that's rain or not. And we got like a cold breeze now blowing at me. I don't want to just literally launch then pew, rained on. All right, we're sending it. Got one rod, one reel, three crab traps, and a dream, and a chopper above. All right, let's get it. Skirt! I tried fishing here before. I did not catch any fish, but yeah, I saw there was some kind of traps out here. So it looked like maybe this would be a good spot catch some crabs it's kind of near inlet and uh yeah i don't know kind of looks crabby i guess i'm gonna need anybody who knows anything about crabbing please help your boy out okay so there see there's some buoys out here there's one there there's one out there i don't know if they're crab traps or whatever but this is like a nice so it's coming in the current right around this point i don't know how deep it is right here that's kind of deep we're gonna drop this thing down. First one, I gotta remember where I put them. All right, it's ready. And boom. Unravel, oh my gosh. I guess it wouldn't matter if I dropped it, but. All right, boom. Oh man, I hope we catch something. See, somebody, dude, it looks like they have the same buoys as me. They overpaid as well. I've seen people use like water bottles, jugs, Gatorade bottles. I didn't have any of that. We'll see if that stays around there. We're just gonna put the other one right over here too. I don't wanna go in the main current. Maybe that's where the crabs are. Maybe that's why that guy's doing that. But we'll just drop this one kind of in the same line. And then while these are floating around, we'll get to fishing. Dude, I'm just covered in mud. Guess drop that sucker right down there. I probably didn't need, this is like a 25 foot line there. Probably should 
actually make that smaller so nobody runs it over with their motor. There's like a little cut over here. We'll put it over here. Why not? And it looks like that one's staying, so we are good. We'll let that rest, I guess, for like five, ten minutes and see. I mean, hopefully there's at least like a baby crab in there. Right? That'd be cool. I think I'm going to drop this one literally just like right here. I got to remember which ones are mine. I don't know what color his things are. Again, I'm colorblind. So even if I did, I don't know if that would help. <laughs> Boom. All right. <laughs> Let's go, dude. If you guys like these kind of, oh, we're on the bottom videos, make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button. Really would mean a lot. And it lets me know you guys like this. What is going on? Hello, we are on the bottom bottom. We are very professional crabbers. You can kind of see on the reeds. Wow, it's starting to get foggy, dude. Hello? Can I have that? Thank you. Just got a little swim bait on here. I'll toss around. I talked to some guys that were coming out and they said they caught some trout, which would be freaking sick to catch some of those. But um, yeah, you can see on the reeds, tide is like maybe three feet down. So we're coming in. That's not where I wanted to cast that. All right, see if there's any reds, flounder, trout around here. Anything that wants to bite, I am down. All right, so we have circled back around. It's been probably like 10 minutes. Let's check this first trap here. This is fun, dude. All right, let's see if I can actually grab it. Hello? Steer me that way. Oh, all right, ready? Gotta get the line. Anybody? No. Skirt. It's all about like experimenting. And if you guys can tell, like sometimes when I do these videos, I'm in new spots or <laughs> trying new things. Like I don't always know what the heck I'm doing. Honestly, I rarely ever feel like I know exactly what I'm doing. That's all part of the fun, right? Do not be afraid to try new things. You never know when you'll find a new spot or your new hobby like crabbing or a new something. All right, come here. You're going out to the deep. Yep, nope, nobody. Honestly, really wonder what kind of trap they got going on or what kind of bait they're using. Maybe chicken's not the wave. the heck oh hello sir that's majestic well back to fishing I'll let those things sit there a little bit longer it's got to be some form of life out here whether it swims whether it eats chicken something's got to be here Oh my god, freaking bird. Oh, dude. Whew. All right. It's honestly been like 20 minutes this time. Let's give these things a check here. I'll go with the furthest one out first. Come here, crabs. Oh boy. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Nobody saw that. Crabs are probably down there laughing at me. Come here. All right. Nothing. Bro. Hmm. Possible. This is harder than I thought it would be. Come on, just give me a sign of life, man. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Don't get out! 
We got a freaking crab, dude. Woo! Let's go. All right, we might need to go more towards this area. Let's take a look at this thing. Ooh. Oh, is that a keeper? I don't know. All right, chill. Don't bite me. Dude, why am I getting like whirlpooled here? What is this current? Ow. Oh, that's a freaking keeper. Oh, that is a keeper. This is a Delaware tape measure, but it's the same. Okay. Okay. We're going to drop you in here, buddy. Can you let go? All right, there we go. That is a male. That is a nice male. We're going to put him here in the bucket. Put a little bit of water in there. First crab, first keeper going in. This is kind of sketchy. You got to have my thumb right here. I need a different crab bucket, to be honest. All right, there we go. Boom. We did it. We freaking did it. First crab. We're starting to, we drifted far. We're starting to learn what's up, sorta. Kinda, not really, but kinda. I'll show you a little bit better next time. Hopefully we catch one. But basically it's same as in Delaware. The spikes have to be five inches, like five inches from spike to spike. So that's why I can use the same ruler. I'm wondering if maybe we should get like some crab pots that we could let sit in here for like a day or two or three. I, I'm wondering if that's what these guys are doing. They just kind of let them chill here and then they come get them. And, take their haul it's probably a more surefire way to get some stuff without doing so much work but this is just fun <laughs> i'm living life i'm feeling good see if we catch a fish now i'm just happy we caught it especially it's not even that we caught a crab it's that like it was a freaking keeper too and a male Hey yo, back in the camper with Chef Gordon Ramsay's worst nightmare, Chef First State. Listen man, one is a lot better than zero. Would you rather have one life or zero lives? Exactly. So I was kind of under the impression that crabs are just down there, you know, crabbing around. I think there's a lot more science to it than that. So I took it to the internet, did a little bit of more research, right? Probably should have done this beforehand. So basically what it looks like it comes down to, it says look for cuts and creek mouths, which crabs tend to congregate near. And then you place your traps outside of them. We kind of did that. Where we caught that crab, it was like in a cut, kind of like a creek mouth sort of thing. Underwater humps and bars can be very productive as well i mean overall i think it's just going to be like experimentation and uh, a little bit more patience and uh yeah so we got a crab but we were minus one crab trap as well i don't know what happened i lost it <laughs> like i put up the rope there was no trap maybe like a whole army of crab got revenge on their homie i don't know so basically it was, it was yesterday we did this last night we just cracked the back on the crab i cleaned it out and this is what we have left boom beautiful hello focus beautiful cleaned crab this is the other side. This is usually how my family and I would do it back in Delaware. And we'd get a bunch of these and then we'd uh, put them into spaghetti <laughs> and we'd make crabs of spaghetti. Here's a better look. Basically, again, we just popped the top off and we took out the lungs and the face and all that. And we are left with something that is looking very delicious. One thing I do have to say too about this crab in specific is that it is very like beautiful. Look at the Look at the claws, man. Yo, Chef First State, you're really going to eat and cook one crab? Yes, I am. And it is for science. Again, as I said, I grew up in Delaware, which is right next to Maryland, which that's like the blue crab central state, right? But we still do a lot of crabbing in Delaware. I've caught and cooked a bunch of crabs. You guys can check on the channel. We've made like some good stuff. We made crab bisque before. We made cheesy crab dip. I did like a seafood boil and stuff for Kelsey one time. So I've had my fair share of experiences with blue crabs, especially growing up catching them and stuff. But I have never done it in florida and i've never caught one and ate one in florida like a florida crab people do say that they taste different than uh the maryland ones we shall see and we're also going to be trying something different as well you, you guys know on the channel chef for state's a big fan of his air fryer it's a prized possession of mine so we're going to be trying something we're going to be trying to cook the crab in the air fryer all right so all i did sprinkle a little old bay type seasoning on the crab and we are literally just going to throw it into here and plug this into there and then plug this in do like five minutes now again i'm from delaware so baits might be different basically we use chicken or um, fish and fish most of the time uh, what i would use there is bunker or bluefish or really something you can catch and you just don't want the scraps but mainly if i'm going crabbing in delaware is chicken or bunker so what i did i googled for florida best bait for blue crabs Raw chicken, okay, does work, kind of. Oily fish, like saltwater catfish or mullet. I didn't even think to use mullet. Maybe we could cast this some next time, actually. 
Saltwater catfish too. That'd be fun to try to catch them. I don't think I've ever caught and cooked a saltwater catfish either. That, that's definitely on the list. Blue crabs are bottom feeders. Don't think too hard uh, about what scraps you come up with. I'm also wondering if the spot I was at, maybe a lot of the crabs that were there went into those traps or pots that the guys had in there as well. Maybe I need to find a different spot. I don't know. Either way, this is like, this is the beginning, right? In the end, we are trying to become the ultimate outdoorsman, going state to state, trying different things. I want to do like a giant seafood boil. It'd be so sick to have like a bunch of crabs. You could bring some home, get Kelsey involved. Maybe get some corn going, some sausages. That's like the dream, man. Let me know if you guys like these kind of crab videos. And especially it's cool because it's like crabbing and fishing. Although we didn't catch any fish. I didn't even get a freaking bite to be honest. That one crab literally, literally saved our day. All right, our crab is almost done. And there's, there's a lot of uh, updates we have going on here that you guys will kind of find out within the next couple weeks but there's a lot of stuff going on as always appreciate the heck out of all you guys for watching these videos and staying tuned and if you're not already man it's a great time go down there hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload and if you guys again like these crabbing videos let me know hit the thumbs up button thanks smash like i have no clue what this is gonna look like in three two one That's darn near done. We're gonna do one minute just to be extra safe. It's, it's tough because like cooking stuff like this, I'm colorblind. So I know it's supposed to be red. It looked red, but maybe not red enough. Catch my drift. And the result is, boob. Fresh blue crab from Florida, freshly caught, freshly air fried. Let me know if you guys ever air fried crabs. I've seen people do it with uh, like soft shell crabs, but I don't know. I kind of, I don't know. Looks pretty good. There is the crab. Ow. And um, yeah, this is a blue crab, so you, you like them or you dislike them. They're a lot of work for what you get, and you don't really get, like, you know when you're cracking snow crabs or you see people make mukbangs with those big king crabs and they get these giant pieces and dip it in the butter and stuff? This is about the size of, like, a decent, like, haul from a blue crab, which, again, it's, it's controversial. Some people are like, dude, why would I even waste my time cracking all these? Trust me, they're good, they're worth it, but this is it, man. This is a little part of the cluster there. This is the first blue crab from florida i've ever caught and uh the first one we're going to be tasting let's give it a shot here to be honest i don't taste much of a difference the seasoning on here is really good hold on let's get into this claw real quick that i mean it's good i would like that literally it's a dream to go out there catch a couple of these. We are gonna turn that dream into a reality if you guys like these kind of videos, but if not, I'm gonna still do it. Maybe off camera or whatever, but <laughs> also freaking crabs, man. Crab is crab, blue crab is just good, man. If you guys wanna see another video where we're reviewing crabbing out in Oregon for Dungeness Crabs, I'll leave that video on the screen right here. But as always, man, thank you guys so much for all the freaking support. Let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. You see you next video.